here's one in, in Hawaii uh, where I just have to think this is not going to stand scrutiny. There's actually two bills. One uh, requires, uh, let's see, uh, they've established a database for firearm owners. You buy a gun, you go in the database. And uh, if you get it, arrested, it's part of what they call the wrap back system operated by the FBI. I never heard of it. Uh, and under the, in this system, they will be notified if you, Mr. Hawaii resident, go out and get arrested for a crime anywhere in the U.S., they will get notification and then... Um, they will evaluate whether your yeah. firearm, the firearm owner may continue to legally possess and yeah. own firearms. That's a statement from the Hawaii governor's office. Uh, how this will work out, we're not sure, uh, obviously. Um, there was one other bill, uh, let me think here, the third new law requires gun owners to surrender their firearms and ammunition to the police if they've been disqualified to possess the weapons, quote, due to a diagnosis of having a significant behavioral, emotional, or mental disorder. But how do they or, know that that's happening to that person? Or due to emergency or involuntary admission to a psychiatric facility. Well, and, um, how, do they know, how do they know what's happening? Like... If I'm a doctor and I don't like you, I can clearly say that you yeah. are insane when you're not. I mean, I sometimes, as Roxanne, think you, Davis, sometimes are. No, I'm going to be emotionally upset, um, but I'm not But, you know, who, clinically... who's to say that? Who, I, don't, I really I, don't worry about them. Whose but... standards, you know, does that go off of? That's a very good point, Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne, this is not a slam on you, but she's lurched into a very good point, as I think Rush Limbaugh once said. Our guest is Edwin Walker. He is a lawyer in Houston, and he is uh, one of the lawyers for U.S. Law Shield. Thank you for, for being with us. We appreciate it. Have you heard about this this Hawaii thing? Uh, yes, yes, I've, <laughs> I've heard of it, and uh, also we're Texas Law Shield here in Texas, since y'all are down in the valley. Um, uh, so I'm a program attorney with Texas Law Shield, and yeah, we've heard the Hawaii thing. Uh, keep in mind that. Hawaii is one of the most gun restrictive states in the union, and mm. so they they sort of have this attitude that since they're an island, they can have a firmer grip yeah. on keeping track of the guns there because obviously you can't bring one in by car uh, at least not until they finish that uh, Los Angeles to Honolulu toll road Man. that they're working on. Yeah, I want the I want the bridge concession for that, brother. Yeah, a hell of a toll so, you get to charge. That's correct. So Hawaii does have some very strict gun laws. Uh, this actually is kind of troubling because uh, if you'll recall, uh, you know, a few weeks ago we had the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals mm -hmm. upheld the California gun law in a case called Peruta. Well, Hawaii is also in the Ninth Circuit. And so the, if the Ninth Circuit is going to let states just regulate at will, then this is probably a law that will be upheld by the Ninth Circuit, even though – it creates this presumptive criminality with regard to do, with regard to somebody doing nothing more than exercising uh, their Second Amendment let, right. Let me challenge that, Counselor. How does merely compiling a list, whether on a legal pad or in a computer, how does that uh, strike you as a presumption of criminality? Well, because we don't keep lists. Uh, in fact, it's a lot of times explicitly forbidden to keep lists yeah. of people who engage in First Amendment activities. Uh, and so if you say the Second Amendment is a constitutional right on par with the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, uh, then it's illegal to keep government lists of people who just merely engage in that right. And like I said, there is this, this presumptiveness mm -hmm. of criminality. And so what they're doing, what Hawaii is doing is they're saying, look – if if we have a resident of Hawaii who owns a firearm and they go, you know, say they're on vacation in Montana and they get arrested for DWI, then that DWI is entered in the uh, is entered into the uh, uh, records that, yeah, the public that, records of Montana, and they the FBI will then say, aha, we will now notify Hawaii, and now Hawaii can make a you know. A judgment. They call it an evaluation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of whether or not the Hawaii resident gets to keep his guns, and they've expanded the list of, of individualized state disqualifiers in Hawaii to include not just all felonies, which every state has that, but also many, many, many misdemeanors, uh, not just misdemeanors involving crimes of domestic violence. That was another law that got passed in Hawaii. 
Ed, when I first read the headline, this question came to mind. Can they do this? Like, can this really be done? <laughs> well, the thing about it is, is that since the landmark cases of Heller and McDonald, we have seen no uh, – there has been – I wouldn't – of course, it's not aggressive, but there hasn't been any expansion or expanding definition on where this personal right to uh, possess and keep firearms, uh, how far it extends. The Supreme Court has consistently turned down every opportunity that they've had to scrutinize state laws that res restrict firearms owners. In fact, on Friday, June 24th, on Friday, the Supreme Court explicitly had the opportunity to review both New York gun laws and Connecticut gun laws and refused to do that. And then you had the Ninth Circuit, of course. They said, hey, you know, the, any, pretty much anything the state wants to do to regulate firearms possession – uh, and firearms, the ability to carry firearms outside of your house, that is okay. And so what this again focuses in on is that, you know, of course, there's always this national debate about what Congress should do, in which thankfully Congress does seem to have some reasonable people in it, and they will say, look, you know, we believe in the Second Amendment. What's important is for folks to keep an eye on their state legislatures and watch what their states are passing because that's where the encroachment into your Second Amendment rights is going to come from. Well, let, let me ask. We we, we uh, don't have a long time, but it, what's the, the standard? You get in trouble, they report you back to to the cops in Hawaii so they can judge whether or not you can continue to own the gun, and they have a right to come get it if you don't turn it in. But what standard are they going to use? This news coverage just says, they will uh, evaluate. I don't, I don't know what that means. Well, that's the thing about it is, is that you're getting into these areas of discretion, giving these government employees discretion to decide who should and shouldn't mm -hmm. uh, have firearms rights, which is exactly what the issue in Peru was, was that should a local government official, in that case the sheriff, have discretion to decide who gets a permit to carry their, gun, their handgun outside the house and who doesn't. So in Hawaii, they have the same thing, only that extends to gun ownership. That may be subject to a little higher scrutiny if you're saying that now somebody's prohibited from having in their house. However, uh, like I said, it, it doesn't bode well that the court, the Supreme yeah. Court, is declining to take up these cases and and look at where the you know, where the line is between impermissible gun regulation and permissible gun regulation. And oh. so if the, if, the, if the Supreme Court is going to take basically a hands-off approach, that's why it's important to pay attention to what your state legislature is doing. Well, on that, we got to go. We're out of time. Uh, so always we'll enjoy it. Again, Evan, Evan Walker, thank you. thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thanks for yes, having sir. me. I appreciate it. He's a Houston attorney, uh, does criminal law. He is also the lawyer, a lawyer with Texas Law Shield. And U.S. Law Shield. And U.S. Law Shield.